Hello. In this tutorial, I'm going to discuss about more about the if function. Now we all learned uh, about if function in the previous videos as well, and uh, in this tutorial also we're going to learn more about it. Now, for example, we uh, do learn in school, colleges, and uh, and in colleges we have to fill the fees, uh, especially before examination. Uh, semester wise and uh, who shall learn uh, in a in a college in a in any institute to have to fill a f exam fees just before uh, examination so that's we have to fill that to uh, a college fees and so we all you, we may encounter the count section who do have the actual sheet with us and they have that record that how much Fee, how much is the fees of the particular semester is how much student had already paid how much they have to pay uh, to appear in examination so these are the thing uh, they basically learn and they uh, uh, even work on it now for example the total fees of the first semester is 15,000 rupees and the amount paid by uh, a student uh, in this semester is uh, some some has paid 10,000 some paid 2,000 and some paid nothing they have to pay before appearing in examination so how much and how to create a database what is the balance amount will be and uh, how much amount uh, a student has already given in advance so that in next sem when the student appear for the next same examination we need not to charge anything we need not to ask for the fee so that's the thing we need to look into it work into it so uh, for example what what is the functionality will be let me go with the function let me select the column first go to function insert function if you are not using if uh, before if you are using i for for the first time just uh select if and you will get into it and the argument now you have to put what is the argument now for example if the amount paid the amount paid so we have to select the column the amount paid is lesser for example it is lesser than the total fees which is 15,000 a total fees which is 15,000 then that amount should be uh, because if that amount is a lesser then how much it uh, how much student have to pay for for example uh, the total fees is uh, 15,000 and then we have to minus the fee student has already paid so that we have to check and it is uh, for example 10,000 so total value is 5,000 as per what the calculation of this particular structure it is because the total fees it look like 15,000 and 10,000 is already paid by a student so even if it is if it's saying that your yeah, fees is total fees is correct total fees is not like that then the then the actual amount will be and if a student has paid uh, the same amount if the student has paid the complete amount the complete amount in the sense is 15,000 there should be zero I hit the OK and the balance is for 5,000 it means Ankit have to pay 5,000 more to appear in examination. Now, if you want the same formula to be applied in these cases, then you can. Otherwise, just drag the mouse there, bring the mouse here, until that you will find that, yeah, the total amount, which is the balance. So Nitin have to pay the entire 15,000, Nishan have to pay 10,000, Sanjay have to pay 3,000 more, Sumit have to pay 5,000, Moloy have to pay 10,000, 
then uh, Amor need to pay seven seven thousand five hundred. Ruby have to pay ten thousand. Anchor have to pay thirteen thousand. This is the total amount. And the student who has already paid. Now these are the student. You can see their balance amount is zero. In that case, there will be a student who are already paid a first year fees along with the uh, once they were a peer and once they take admission, they have paid the complete amount. So what would be that advance amount for those student if they already paid for? So that in next semester, we need not to ask for, we need not to uh, tell them to pay a fees. Again, IF function will be help us to make sure uh, a correct details come to us now for example if it is greater than uh, the 10,000 if we are saying that 10,000 is greater than 15,000 then what would be the amount e5 then minus T5. It means if the amount is, uh, if that amount is 20,000 in that case, like it is 30,000, if it, it is minus than 15,000, then we have to provide the details. So in that case, what would, be the, what would be the total amount? We have to go through zero because if it is total amount, it's uh, it's same then the final conclusion will be up zero. Now, how much uh, they have to pay? And if, if it's say that uh, uh, the student not paid the advance amount or not paying more than that, then should be zero. So it's saying zero. The reason being that uh, amount which needs to be paid is 15,000 and Ankit have a balance of 5,000. So he didn't pay it any advance, but Let's check whether other students have the same case or not. Only two people, only two students has paid advance amount. I can see that it's 15,000 paid by Naman and 15,000 paid by Arun. Rest all not have paid any advance amount. So this is the conclusion we received that the balance amount and advance amount and one simple formula is requires to find out uh, what is the value is as already said that excel is a great tool one simple formula and we can easily find out the value of uh, of it even because we just put a, a value or put a formula there even if we change the value the total amount will be changed now for example Ankit has paid, amount paid by Ankit is now 20,000. You can see the balance amount is zero, advance change to 5,000. Similarly, the case is with, uh, for example, Amar. If Amar paid 17,000, then you can change, you can see the balance amount has been changed and now his uh, advance fees is 2,500. So any column you change a number and with that formula it changed the total valuation as well and that's why these are the two is great too. You just need to put a correct formula and Excel sheet will work uh, rest of it. So hope you learned something from it. Thanks for watching.